Ivy. All right. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be doing a very, very highly requested video and that is my Taylor Swift t-shirt slash clothing collection. I asked you guys on my Instagram whether you would want this or maybe a song ranking video or anything of that nature and you guys astoundingly voted for this. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today. I got all of my Taylor Swift t-shirts out of my closet and onto the floor and it is overwhelming. <laughs> so this is gonna be a long video. Grab a snack. But if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis. I am 22 years old and I am currently living in Japan with my husband and of course I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. I also have a Swifty Instagram and TikTok where I post every single day so those will be linked down below and I think that's it. Make sure to subscribe. Did I hit everything? I think I did. Okay let's go ahead and jump in to the t-shirts. I organized everything by era. We are going to go from debut all the way until the most recent. I also have a lot of small business unofficial Taylor merch so we will go through those at the very end. So we're gonna start off with with all the official merch. All right, here we go. All right, first we have my debut shirts. These are some of the cutest ones I own. I'm in love with these ones. So first we have this bad boy. Look at her, the curls and everything. This t-shirt is from the Soul to Soul tour show thing that she went to. I got this off her website because way back in the day, they brought back all of the really vintage old tour t-shirts. It has the lyrics to Tim McGraw on it, her little signature. The next debut shirt that I have is this teal one. It has her sitting in the little lake, the iconic Taylor Swift logo, and then on the back it has some tour dates. That picture is actually so stunning. This is one of my favorite shirts. Okay, so that's it for debut. Now we're moving on to Fearless. I should point out that I am missing a few shirts. Like I said in the beginning, I live in Japan and I only brought some of my collection with me, which is why I can't do like a full merch collection right now until I get back home. So there's some t-shirts that like my sister has that my mom has in her closet. And one of the pieces that is still at my parents' house is I have the Swift hoodie. It was from the Fearless Tour. I got it off her website. But anyway, that's supposed to be in this pile, but of course it's in Arizona. Arizona and I am across the sea. <laughs> but one thing that I do have with me is one of my first Taylor shirts that I ever got and you can tell by the size of it. So this t-shirt is very small. It has Swift in the front and in the back it has some guitars. It says Fearless and it has her little logo. Okay, the next two things in this pile are things from Fearless Taylor's version that I bought. So we have the little half zip, which on the back has all of the Fearless Taylors. It says Fearless Taylor's version. This one's actually so cute. And then on the side, it says Taylor Swift. Also, if you see an abundance of cat hair, on these clothes. No, you didn't. Then we have the Fearless Taylor's version album cover crew neck. It's just all black and then it has the Fearless album cover. All right, next we move on to Speak Now, my second favorite Taylor album of all time. This was also the very first tour I ever went to. So I have the Speak Now red tour t-shirt. So on the back it has all of the tour dates with her logo and I am so happy that this one still fits. And then the last Speak Now t-shirt I have is the Haunted t-shirt. And then on the back, it has the agency's hands with Speak Now on it. <laughs> What's after Speak Now? Red, red, okay. She has too many albums, I can't keep track. Red is by far the biggest pile because we just went through Red Taylor's version and I apparently didn't hold back. <laughs> I told myself before Red TV came out that I wasn't gonna buy a lot of merch and then I did. I got a little too excited. So this is gonna be a mix of old and new merch. Starting off with old merch, we have the We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together single t-shirt. I believe I got this at Walgreens way back in the day. She had a red setup at Walgreens where you could buy all the merch. So we have this one. Then we have some red TV merch. This is like one of my all time favorite merch pieces that she's ever come out with because of the quality. So it's the Taylor Swift Varsity sweater. And then we have the red Taylor's version gray t-shirt with the little State of Grace red tour Taylor on there. And then we have the 22 t-shirt that came out during the red TV era. And it says, we're happy, free, confused, and lonely at the same time. And I wore this on my 22nd birthday. <laughs> okay. I 
I forgot I had a double of the We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together single t-shirt. So I cropped this one. So this is just a cropped version of the first t-shirt that I showed you. And I also went through a phase of cropping all of my old red t-shirts that I got from Walgreens. So this is the album cover shirt. I got this at Walgreens and I cropped it. It's actually so cute cropped. I really like how I cropped it. So uh, yeah, this was a full length shirt, but not anymore. <laughs> then we have the iconic All Too Well baby tee. It has some lyrics from All Too Well. This was released during the Red TV era and it's a hot commodity nowadays. Then we have another Red TV era shirt. This is the All Too Well tour t-shirt. It says, I remember it all too well. And then it has her playing all too well at the piano from the Red Tour. Then we have a super old red t-shirt. This one is from her website way back in the day. And it just has one of the pictures from the red booklet. And it says Taylor Swift, long sleeve, super cute, super vintage. <laughs> then we have a Red Tour t-shirt. This one, I believe I also got on the website. It says Taylor Swift, the Red Tour. And then on the back, it has the Red Tour dates. And then we got another cropped red t-shirt. <laughs> Pretty sure I got this at Walgreens. It was also sold on the Taylor merch website. And then the last piece of red merch I own is the red long sleeve cropped era shirt. So it has all of the red tailors on the back from the red tour. It says red tailors version on the front, super cute. All right, we're done with red. Now on to my favorite, 1989. Like I said earlier, some of the pieces that I have from the 1989 era are still at my parents' house. I didn't bring them with me because they're not shirts that I would wear all the time, but I'm gonna show you the ones that I have with me here. So first we have the iconic 1989 crew neck from the old Taylor merch drop, but it says 1989 TF and it's light blue, love this one. And then we have the OG 1989 era merch. This is the 1989 tour shirt. So it says the 1989 world tour on the back and then Taylor Swift in the neon lights in the front. And then we have the 1989 deluxe album t-shirt that was sold at Target. So it has the album cover on the front. Oh, and then we have another recent t-shirt. So this was also in the old Taylor merch drop that was released earlier this year. It's it's the Shake It Off black t-shirt says TS on it. And the reason why I got this one is because I have the OG Shake It Off black t-shirt that was sold on her website when Shake It Off first came out as a single. So it has Shake It Off in her handwriting, TS1989 at the bottom, super cute. All right, and moving on to Reputation. <laughs> I have a few more Reputation t-shirts, but I gave them to my sister to hold on to while I am in Japan because she loves Reputation. I'll put up some pictures of me in the other t-shirts that I have if I can find them. But the only one that I brought here with me to Japan is the Reputation gray cropped t-shirt. I got this one at the tour and it just says Reputation on it. It's one of my favorite Reputation pieces that I have. It's super cute. All right, next. <laughs> now we have Lover. Unpopular opinion, I actually love the Lover merch. I think the aesthetic is so cute. The first one that I got actually in the Lover era is this tie-dye lover heart flower t-shirt situation. It has a floral heart on the front and it says Taylor Swift and it's long sleeve and it's all pink tie-dye. It's really cute. Next we have one of these shirts that I snagged during the Black Friday sale. I believe it was in 2021, so last year. They brought back some of the Lover merch and everyone was like going ham. So this is one of the things that I bought during that Black Friday sale. It is the Lover Crop Tee. I wanted this so bad during the Lover era. So I'm so happy that I finally have it. It's so cute, has a little album cover at the bottom with Lover at the top, so cute. One of the other things that I snagged during that Black Friday sale is the Cornelia Street crew neck. I was so lucky to not have this sell out in my cart, so I love it. It's in gold, it has a little flower, and it says, I never walk Cornelia Street again. Then we have the second ever Eras t-shirt. This came out after they first found out that the Eras t-shirts collection would be like a hit. So I have this one and it says Taylor Swift and it has all of the eras up until Lover. I love this one. I wear it all the time. <laughs> then we have two things that I bought from the Lover Valentine's Day collection that came out this year. The first thing that I got is the TS Rose hoodie. I think it's called the Glitter Rose hoodie actually. It's all pink. It says TS. And then on the 
back it has a huge glitter rose and then this is my husband's but I'm including this in our merch collection because I can he got the tie-dye to my lover hoodie from the same Valentine's Day collection and I steal it from him all the time the pile is getting bigger oh my god I almost forgot something Okay, we're going back in time to the 1989 era because I also have the TS 1989 hoodie that I wear all the time. I got this back on her website, I believe in 2014. And I forgot to show it with all of the other ones because it was on the hanger. So add this to the 1989 pile. <laughs> okay, next we're moving on to everybody's favorite folklore. This was when I started getting obsessed with crewnecks because I bought so many folklore crewnecks <laughs> for no reason. So the first crewneck I have is the folklore tie-dye gray crew neck it just says folklore and it's all gray and tie-dye kind of marble really love this one then we have the auroras and sad pros folklore crew neck this was sold after folklore came out in like a special collection then we have the folklore album crew neck another crew neck it has the album cover on the front and then it says folklore album on the sleeve and then we have the gray invisible string t-shirt has some pictures of taylor and then invisible string lyrics on it and then I bought this era's t-shirt during the folklore era and it just says Taylor Swift in the folklore font with all of the Taylors leading up to Miss Folklore at the end. Okay, my camera keeps overheating and of course it's trying to cut out right before we go to the Evermore merch. <laughs> the poor sisters always left out. <laughs> okay, moving on to the Evermore merch. I only have two things from Evermore and I think it's because I was like on a crew neck overload with folklore. So I only got two things. The first one I bought when Evermore was released and it is the Ever and Evermore hoodie. This is honestly like one of my favorite merch pieces because of the quality. It's embroidered in the same green color that the hoodie is and I just think that's so cute. So we have this one and then finally Evermore got shown a little bit of love and this past year when it was nominated for album of the year at the Grammys they brought back like an Evermore anniversary collection. So I got a crew neck from that collection and it is the ivy crew neck it's tie-dye it has a cute little evermore picture right there and then has some ivy lyrics and then it has ivy on the back it's really cute okay that is all of the merch from all of the album eras before we get to all of the small business unofficial taylor merch i have two more pieces that were kind of like specialty collections the first crew neck i have is part of the graduation collection for 2022 i graduate this december so i had to get the i'm feeling 22 graduation crew neck but we have this one and then last year i got a crew neck from the holiday collection so it says ts on the front and then it has some christmas trees and some reindeer and cats on the sleeves <laughs> so that is it for my official taylor clothing now we're moving on to unofficial small business slash etsy taylor merch a lot of this was sent to me by some of these small businesses oh my god how did i forget this we have the cardigan this should have gone into the folklore section but we'll include her at the end since she's so iconic so without further ado let's get to this next section all right I'm just gonna pull from the top first we have this Miss Americana blue t-shirt this is from foray unlimited it says Miss Americana class of 1989 and it says play stupid games win stupid prizes I love this t-shirt so much okay then we have this t-shirt I cropped it it was full length and I actually got this from Amazon okay I will have it linked down below because this is iconic and it says I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative period next we have the no it's becky t-shirt i just got sent this from mosaic heart co and i am so obsessed if you know me you know i love 1989 so this was iconic then we have a woodvale t-shirt this is from foray unlimited it says woodvale album and then at the bottom it says you can hear it in the silence i think that's so hilarious then we have a midnight's t-shirt this is from daisy dustland on Etsy and it says in the middle of the night a journey through terrors and sweet dreams 13 sleepless nights and it has a lot of celestial print on it. It's super cute. Next, we have this one. My husband actually has a matching hoodie to this. This is from Etsy. I don't remember where it's from, but I know that there's like five different Etsy shops that do this exact 
print. Next, we have another Foray Unlimited t-shirt. This is from the Red Taylor's version era. It's a white long sleeve with the middle finger poking out of the pocket and it has the red ring on. It's super cute. Next, we have a 1989 shirt. This is actually from an Etsy shop that's no longer on Etsy. I'm not sure why, but I've gotten a lot of requests to um, link this on my Instagram and I can't find it anymore. So um, on the front, it says 1989. It has the little cover and then on the back it has the track list in the font of like a receipt I think it's really cute next we have one of my favorite things in the entire world this is from Taylor and Lucas it is a 1989 sweat set so the top says out of the woods National Park and then it came with shorts that say 1989 with some seagulls on the leg this is like my favorite thing ever okay next we're getting into pressed paper shop they are one of my favorite brands ever. The first thing that I ever got from them was this 1989 zip up. It says 1989. Um, it says the best people in life are free in our handwriting, new romantic, a little cute stamp that says I know places. Super, super cute and oversized. I love this one. Then we have another zip up from Pressed Paper Shop and it's the August zip up. So it's brown, says August. It says Mimi me, me behind the mall has some trees. I am so in love with this one. This one's actually like so soft. I'm obsessed. And then this is a crew neck from Mosaic Heart Co. It says meet me at midnight with the little TS at the bottom. Super cute. Then we have this crew neck. This I bought April of last year because I was convinced that we were getting 1989 TV. So it's Taylor's version with a little seagull. This is from, oh no, I think Sunfish Press. Super cute, but... A very big clown moment for me. Then we have another hoodie from Pressed Paper Shop. This is their Midnight's Lavender hoodie. It says Midnight's and then on the back, it's my favorite. It says Meet Me at Midnight 13 Songs for 13 Sleepless Nights. Super cute. Then we have another crew neck from Mosaic Heart Co. This is a Speak Now one. It has the hand hearts and it says I had the time of my life with you in this cute purple color. Okay, so this next one I got for my birthday, I believe, and this is from Etsy, and it says, when I was drowning, that's when I could finally breathe. And then on the sleeve right here, it says 1989 TV, so super cute. Okay, so the last two things are from Taylor and Lucas. This is a jean jacket, and on the back, it has 1989 embroidered. This is like one of my favorite things I ever own. With some seagulls, I am so in love with this one. And then the very last unofficial Taylor merch I have is this little fleece. This is also from Taylor and Lucas. And it is a cowboy like me fleece. So it says cowboy like me with cute little cowboy boots and a cactus. And it is a half zip cropped little fleece sweatshirt. And I am in love with this. It's so soft. And that's it. We're done. That was the longest video I've ever filmed in my entire life. Like I said in the beginning, all of the small businesses that I mentioned in the unofficial merch section, I will put in the description. Everything else was purchased through Taylor's merch website. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. I hope you liked it. And if you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, my Instagram and my TikTok will be linked down below along with all of my other things. But I love you guys so much. If you guys made it, through this entire crazy long video comment down below your favorite merch piece that you own and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye